yeah, yeah. Put it down on the bro, let it go, yeah. Welcome back, though. So sad, kick it, kick it, kick Young nigga, I got old cash spazzing on the ass. I got product on my whole ass. What's going on, guys? It's your man C to the J to the C. And if you love the best story time, the funniest, the enjoyable, the crying, all the good stuff when it comes to story time, then hit that bell and hit the my subscribe button. And welcome to my channel. I appreciate every single one of y'all who stay tuned, who, who, who's in tune every single week, who comes and enjoy y'all time listening to my story time. I appreciate y'all. Welcome back. And bro, like, soon we're going to have to be giving out prizes for those who support me. But for those who just passing by, let me check watch a little of it and then leave no watch the full thing all right go hit that bell hit the bird and then watch the full story so we get that watch time up and then we get more people coming in tuning in you feel me though you feel me though and welcome back to another day of story time today i'm going to talk about growing up with asthma how it was and like basically like how it ended and all of that good stuff we gonna do it and you know how we I always say no time to converse now nah, I'm birthed from the old western like wild earth all right so basically um so basically basically all right so when I was growing up um in Miami uh born with Haitian parents as you know parents was born in Haiti I was born raised in 305 Miami Dade County and basically like I grew up with asthma so I had asthma since a young age um my older sister on my dad's side so my dad uh, did care with another woman sooner or later we found out that um she's not even my older sister she's not even my dad's child but that's a nice story chill yo yeah yeah I need a chill all right so um she used to walk me every morning. She said, I can't walk anymore. Every step you take, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. I was a fat kid and I also had asthma. So it was like, it was a bad combination. And um, so my dad used to like be the one to get me active because mom said like, oh, like she tries to get him to walk on fat every time he doesn't want to walk at all. And my dad used to like, so basically I used to walk with her and my dad used to walk with my sister and brother and he kept them all active because my dad used to always have competitions every morning with us. Like basically like whoever walks the fastest gets to school first, he got money for them. So he used to be like, he, he, like uh, the Haitian would say, ah, shit, ah, shit, ah, shit. Like, like go, let's 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 go. And we basically start walking fast and like, compete with each other, push each other back. Like we was that comparing me, my, my, uh, my little sister and my brother and basically like uh before that though i didn't used to walk with them it was just those two so she uh, so my older sister who i thought like you you got me on my dad's side basically used to told my mom she can't walk with me anymore because i never want to walk and then my dad basically said he'll take the objective of bringing me to school and he'll get me start walking and then my dad used to walk, walk, walk. i'm tired i'm tired that's the kind of kid i, I just had asthma my mom used to go through a lot like she used to have to like put me in you know the asthma machines i had the inhaler every time but i used the inhaler as much as like the average asthma person like my mom did my mom was always like um a remedy person so you you know you know how some people every little thing they have i gotta go to the hospital i gotta go to the hospital every second <laughs> i'm not feeling good i gotta go to the hospital oh my head is hurt i gotta go to the hospital every single second then you go to the hospital like come on all like i always tell people all the doctors and the nurse they want you to come back and they because that they, that's how you get more money so to get you to come back i'll give you an antidote but i won't give you the fear, full cure you really think they don't have a cure for AIDS and STD? But remember, that's another story. All right, but yeah, but like, um, yeah. So everything they have to, all, I gotta go to the hospital. I gotta go to the hospital. But that was in my mom. My mom was like, if you got something, we gonna deal with it here and there. Uh, that's why when I always tell people, like the last time I was in the hospital was when I was born. They don't believe me. Well, that's the fact. Like my mom didn't believe in going to no hospital for little stuff. Like stuff she felt that was little that could be dealt with at home. She feel like. If you like, um, um, if you feel the any type of way, we could we could deal with the issue now. So basically, like, uh, so we went to, um, so I was like, yeah, it was a chill day. So um, I said, chill day. What am I talking about? So the uh, inhaler, the mask machine. My mom be so like every t and every time, like I I could tell, like oh, I remember they were bad like i used to be like mom used to throw 
bring him to a shower. I'm tired. I'm tired. I need. I can't breathe. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. That was me. Like it was really bad. My mom used to be like scaring. She said like, take me out the bed. I'm tired. Let me rest. I'm tired. Let me rest. And then mom said, you just got out the bed. Like you didn't do anything that bad. I said, I'm tired. Please, please let me rest. And that's how I'll be. Like. And then. Like, like she used to be really scared. Like, uh, and then when mom used to like, uh, when mom used to like, she used to talk. I love my mom. She used to uh, dealt with a lot of stuff. Like, bring me food to uh, to my um my room, and she said, "Here, eat something." And I said, "I'm tired. I'm tired." And she said, "Here," and then she used to hold my head, giving me the food, like spooning me the food, things like that. And I said, "Then and stuff like that." And after I ate and then drunk good, like she would give me good orange juice and stuff like that. Then she'll basically. Then I'll basically like before she leave, I'll hug her. Now I'll, I'll hold her so tight because tears will come out my eyes because she was dealing with a lot. Like some of that every second you say I'm tired. Like some people would be like I can't deal with this anymore. Like some moms that don't know what being a mom is, or, like loving and caring as my mom. My mom was just like like she was always like she was tolerating it man like every second i'm like i'm tired like it was bad like bring me to the tub like i'm tired i can't like lip holding the, the shower like i'm tired like holding in the tub like i'm tired she was gonna have to like hold me then take my clothes off then basically put me on it i said i'm tired i'm tired she said don't worry it'll, it'll be over here i said no i'm too tired and she said Shh, I'll, I'll be tired. and then she'll put soap around me i said i'm tired like how are you bro God is good, man. And I, it was just like, I'm tired. I'm tired every second. So there was the mask machine. She used to always have to buy a, a full load of like, you know, that worry thing y'all put in the mask machine. She have to do that. My sister was uh, um, actually like still till this day. She still got She got an allergic reaction. I don't know if it's a house or dust mite where she'll do this noise like, <laughs> like imagine someone doing like a pig noise. Like basically, I'm not trying to roast my sister or make fun of her. So not stop it. But she still do it to this day. Like basically, like like rub her nose and then do like <laughs> like like that noise is a allergic reaction. So yeah, it was like asthma. Like for a long time, I had asthma, and then one day, um. My doctor, the, uh, my doctor told me um, I should go to you in hospital. She made an appointment for uh, to to go check it out, and that that that's like uh, that was uh, for allergies. All I had, uh, like all, all of that was at that U M hospital. So we went to U M hospital, not too far from Jackson Memorial Hospital, greatest hospital in the world, Miami Dade County. Yeah, shout out free all my niggas. But yeah, so um, we went there, and then when we went there, uh, um. They had to do chesses. Then mama said she was so scared that when they took a tube, they sticked it in my nose and they made all the way up. And they were showing the screen, only she could see back. Cause I was like in a state where like I feel like my life, like like my 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 thought, like, 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 mm, like shaking when they had the tube in my nose. And mom said when she was looking at my reaction, she was so scared because she was just like, and she she thought she was gonna lose me and stuff like that. So they was doing that test, and after the test, they were saying, "Oh, I got allergies," and they said the allergies is the most causing my of my asthma and stuff like that. And then I said, "Well, I'm allergic to." They say I'm allergic to trees. I'm allergic to certain trees. I'm, I'm allergic to moles, like moles in the corner of the wall. I'm allergic to um to trees. So am I? What well, they did they? I think they say I'm allergic to dogs. And then yeah, like they were saying roaches. So it was crazy because we grew up in rough parts. So it was like roaches and rats is our best friend. <laughs> so basically like, yeah. And then moles, like we didn't have more, but it's just like, wow, shit. And then trees, like, so I couldn't like lie on a tree and feel that fresh air no more. So it was like certain stuff I was allergic to. They were saying, they said, like I could start allergy shots. And mom said, do they really think they could help me? You know, she was a remedy person, but she said, okay. So I started doing allergy salt for the next two years, like, um, from ninth grade year to like late 10th grade year, about to go to 11th grade year, I was taking allergy shot. And the worst part about it is that I used to always come to school late. So when I come on this exams where, where uh, Mr. DC is my, um, my, um, al not algebra professor, trigonometry professor, he'd be like, oh, oh, you missed this exam. You got to redo it, retake it. It's just the retaking part, the f being behind, like I, in Ms. Scheffner class, it was like, um, my uh, Photoshop class and uh, a lot of stuff we uh, we work out beside Photoshop. A lot of my friends got Photoshop certified because they really came to. But when I was in that class, I didn't know how to do work the system like they did because I was barely here. So when I was here, I tried to do the best I can, but it was crazy. So yeah, like um, 
it helped me fall back, but I knew the, the work that the IG shot. I got to spend time with mom too. And like after a, a, a while taking IG shots, my mom wanted to stop. But back to the asthma. So IG shots, while I was taking the IG shots, one day when I had, a, like, it was a, one of my asthma phase, and I was saying to him, I was thinking to myself, I just sat back and was thinking to myself, and tears was coming out of my eyes while I was thinking about that. It was more like I was saying to myself, like, my mom goes through a lot. It was just like, if one, one day I grew, when I grow up and I find somebody that's good to me and stuff like that, like, will they be like as um, tolerant as my mom? Like, if I have asthma, like, what if it came too serious and there was no one there to help me? Like, so I, it was, all those thoughts in my head brought tears to my eyes. And I said to myself, I got to find a way to get out of asthma. So my mom bought this remedy book not too long ago, like when I first looked at it. It was like a hundred remedies uh, in, in the world. So like for, for the thought, and it's a good, y'all going to see how powerful this book is. And my mom still got the book. Actually, when I went to Miami last month, um, one of my friends at work, I basically sent her pictures of like certain um, um cure for like certain things. The the, the remedy book had cure for yeah, cancer. If what if you're having a heart attack, what do you do? I'm gonna give y'all some advice now. If you're having a heart attack at that moment, to have to give time for people to find you and for you to get the help you deserve, or like like find help or basically keep you alive. Once you're having a heart attack, what you need to do is cough rapidly fast at a total speed for the next 10 minutes. So you're doing this. <coughs> <laughs> lashing out your heart to basically like get the pressure like <laughs> and you're gonna keep doing that over and over and over that's what you do when you're having a heart attack learn that from my remedy book it really helped so i went to the remedy book and looked up asthma and there was this six month eating thing i had to do that basically said the prop the, the, the road to cure for asthma and there was certain stuff I, could, I couldn't eat banana. I couldn't eat eggs. I couldn't. There was certain stuff I could eat and couldn't and could not eat. And there was some exercise I needed to do. There was breeding exercises. I had to eat salad and salad with no ranch, fresh salad. Um, there, yeah, there was a lot of stuff I couldn't eat. So every time I want to cook, I said I can't eat that. I can't eat that. And she was annoyed because she said this, uh, this, um, this um, six month thing that ends soon because I can't be cooking so much food and then you not eating nothing. And I said, Mom, like just like cook what, what what I need to eat and when I and when I can't eat, just don't cook it. So it's more like yeah, fresh fruit for us. Like it was just like you know, just certain stuff. I could, it was a good amount that I couldn't eat for six months. Breathing exercises, water, all of that stuff. Orange juice with honey, that really helps. And it was a lot of stuff I basically had to do, bring and things like that for the next six months. So I was doing that while taking my allergy sauce. So you had two things working on you and prayer too. And when I was 16 years old, and my birthday is September 28th, so this was like probably September 15th, September 15th, 16 years old, about to turn 17 soon, I had um, asthma again. And that was the worst asthma ever. And it was more like, oh shit, like you know how I say I, I, I can't breathe. I'm tired. It was worse than that. Like, I, I said I couldn't breathe. I was tired. I told my mom, I can't yeah, please. You know, she was like really scared for that last one. So then one day my mom went and we took her IG shots. She said she wanted to stop. I've been taking for two years. She said she, th she said it, I, I think it's done its job. And it was like, no, we still still think you should do it. And then mom said, oh, my man cannot pay no more. Like I can't do this. And she's like, yeah. So I started doing IG shots after two years and a half. And basically, like I got to, I got into um, finishing my six month. Uh, eat, eat, well, I could eat, uh, from the remedy book. And after six months, like the sixteen year old, when I was about to turn seven year old, was sixteen and a half years old. Um, that was the worst asthma ever. And after that, I never had asthma again. By the grace of God, my asthma was finished. It was done. And I think God first, I think my mom, I think that remedy book, and I think the allergy sauce, that's it. Cause all of those things working for me, it ended something that I felt like was basically a toll in my life and needed to end. And I pray for it and y'all saw how emotional it got me too. But that came to an end and I was able to like basically get the peace I wanted. My, my mom went and basically the happiness that I needed. Cause yeah, like 16 years old, 17, never had asthma. 18, they have asthma, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and I'll turn 25 next month. So it's been eight years since my last asthma. She's done almost a decade. I think God, God is good, man. Y'all got like, 
like if y'all need remedies let me know i'll text my mom to take pictures from a remedy book she got a remedy book that's good for cancer for all sorts of diseases and it's like i'm here to share with y'all here to help you guys and basically i'm i'm thanks for y'all tuning in to hear this story i just need to share like how i grew out asthma growing up with asthma and the pain it was and how i felt about it and i just like check out my story time playlist thank you for guys tuning in i appreciate y'all and y'all know what it is. It's your man C to J to the C, and I'm out. Be breezy.